Hey everybody, I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Heiko's Hot Sauce. Uh, this is his Scorpion's Kiss. Now, Heiko uh, Krigsman is a, is a friend of mine. He's a, Can a Canadian sauce maker. He's a very cool guy. Known for a while on social media. And got a chance to meet him personally at the New York Hot Sauce Expo. And I got some of his sauces. I'm really excited about this. This is his Scorpion's Kiss. How'd you kiss on a scorpion? If you look at the label, you can see a scorpion tail coming from behind. I love that. <clears throat> All right, as far as uh, the heat on this, it goes from mild to wild. We are wild here. I'm excited about that. Heiko is great. We, uh, when he was, I was in the uh, Hellfire Hot Sauce booth, and he came by, and man, he's a he's a trooper. He's got he he, he ate all the hottest stuff. He's a fun guy. It was good to hang out with. He's a good dude, you know. Um, so that was very cool, Heiko. Glad we got a chance to meet. All right. Whew. Let me. Before I get into this, let me read a few things to you. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you the ingredients. Uh, chili peppers. Now, the peppers in this are ghost peppers, Trinidad scorpions, and jalapenos. So that's the heat source. We've got water, cider vinegar, onions, maple syrup, fresh herbs and spices. All right. Now, before I get into the aroma and the actual taste test, I want to read you a little bit about Heiko because he's really, really cool. Now, Heiko grew up in the Netherlands. Uh, in a multicultural environment, East Indian, Suriname, Indonesian, and many others. And this helped him to develop a taste for the sophisticated spicy food at a young age. Start him off young. <coughs> That's weird. Nope. It sounded like a hum at first. Almost electrical, but it's a mower way off. We've been lucky. For those of you who are new just watching this, Inevitably, in the summertime, I can't seem to turn this thing. I can come out at midnight and make a video and someone's using some sort of motor. At any rate, uh, once Heiko moved to Canada, he tried uh, to find the same level of flavor and heat in hot sauces and cooking in Canada. Uh, but to no avail. All right. Now, is he a quitter? No. Disappointed, though, Heiko decided to take over the world of hot sauce by growing his own peppers and making his own hot sauce. Very cool. The result of this endeavor is an ever-growing number of hot sauces varying in spiciness from mild to wild. Uh, all peppers and most ingredients are grown, uh, are homegrown in Ottawa by Heiko and his wife Angela. Hi, Angela. Uh, any ingredients that cannot be grown locally due to the weather like, peach, uh, like peaches um, are purchased on local farmers markets whenever possible. Now, the peppers grown in Ottawa's backyard vary from Hungarian wax peppers um, jalapenos and mild chilies on the side of the low heat spectrum and on the other on the other spicy side there are ghost peppers scorpion peppers habaneros even carolina reaper it's the current guinness uh, record holder uh, for the hottest pepper on the planet all right the result is a wide variety of hot sauces uh, sauces all with their own distinct uh, flavor palette and heat level in other words there's a flavor for every pepper or wannabe pepper right out there that's really cool that he says that because there's a lot of people that watch this. I know that so many people over the years have watched this and said, oh, I got to try that. And you start. No, you don't want to. So he has something for even the beginners. Um, people, uh, even people that have never had a liking for hot sauces will be convinced and converted. I like that. Um, before embarking on this journey together, even Heiko's wife thought that the gra uh, that ground black pepper on spoon was too spicy on food. But when uh, cooking now, Heiko's uh, hot sauce. Uh, hang on a second. Okay, I'm sorry. Now when cooking, Heiko's hot sauce is a staple in every recipe. All right. <coughs> That's the Heiko's story. He's a really cool guy. He was fun to hang out with. I was so busy at the Hellfire booth, I didn't have much time to hang out with him. But, so this, let's get into this. Love the wind chimes. Um, definitely pepper forward. Slight sweetness to it. I'm not sure if I'm picking that up or I'm imagining it. I think I'm getting it. But really, it's a pepper forward sauce. Check them out at HankosHotSauce.com. Tell them Johnny sent you. Here's the pour. By the way, the color. Ooh, 
There we go. It's a big spoonful. All right, now the color is, it's got a good brownish color. Um, there's seeds in there, which I dig. I like substance and happy in my sauce. Not that I don't, it's not that I dislike a pureed sauce, but given my choice, something special about having substance in your sauce. Let's me know there's peppers in there. You know what I mean? All right, so Hanko, thank you so much. It was good hanging out with you. Um, here we go, guys. I'm from Heiko's Hot Sauce. This is his Scorpion's Kiss. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Definitely pepper forward. It's a hot sauce. It's in my throat, which is kind of odd for scorpions. Usually a reaper quality. But the burn is in my throat. It's climbing. Got the uh, the onion. There is a little bit of a sweetness that's coming from the maple syrup. Um, but really, it's just it's very, very pepper forward. There's zero bitterness. Um, it's still climbing, too, which is good. Let's talk about the heat, Heiko. All right, now, if you're somebody who's not chasing heat, you're, you just watch the show because you find it interesting for some reason. Um, if you tried this sauce, it would be... No lie. If, if you're not accustomed to heat, this would be very hot for you. To be honest, I'm a little surprised how hot it is, uh, being as just scorpions. Scorpions is the hottest. Then you got your ghost. Then you got your jalapeno. Now ghost is uh, they, there are more ghosts in here than scorpions. However, it's got a burn that is strong for a scorpion. I like it. It's a good burn. All right, so it'd be hot. It'd be like an eight for you if you're somebody who doesn't eat anything hot. It would be a bummer. You have to go really sparingly, and even then, you'd find it very warm. Uh, you're new. You're on your path. You're kind of getting into it. You tried. If you've had ghost pepper sauces, this is definitely going to be a kick up. You would notice a, a significant difference. If you just tried a ghost pepper sauce and then immediately tried this, you would know there's something stronger in there. So it's hotter than a ghost pepper sauce. So if you're somebody who's kind of chasing it and you're just you're getting into it, you're gonna. It's gonna be at least. Let me back up. If you're a non chili head, it's still climbing. If you're a non chili head, this is going to be like, and you don't need heat, this would be like a nine for you. It would. It's going to be like a seven for somebody who's kind of, you're starting your journey. About a seven. If you're really seasoned, maybe a six, maybe a five. Um, great flavor, though. I, I get, I, the onion, I get the onion on the finish. I'm not sure what spices he uses, but it's just delicious. It's really a good sauce. So here's what you guys got to do. I get comments all the time from people in Canada saying, "Oh, it's expensive to get stuff shipped to us in Canada." If you're a Canadian fan, you know, part of the family, here's a Canadian sauce you can get that I recommend. Johnny Scoville approved. It's a good sauce, and Hanko's a great guy to work with. Um, so do me a favor: if you have not tried the sauces, go to the description box. You're gonna see a few things in the description box. Number one, you'll see a link to Heiko's Hot Sauce, okay? Check it out. You'll see a link for the Tube of Terror. Uh, get them while you can. La while you can. There's a new person in the lead. I had a contest a while back on the 6th of, last of this month. I had a contest I, I started. Whoever has the most entertaining Tube of Terror video is gonna get a, a Tube of Terror, a Chili Cherry Nightmare, and a shirt. There's a new leader. I'm not gonna say his name. Great video. You guys. Make your videos, get your Tube of Terror in the description box, and upload them. Make, tag me in it, make sure I hear about it so I know about the video. I have to see it. All right? You'll also see a Chili Cherry Nightmare link. All right? If you've had Hakos, you've already had this sauce, then by all means, go to the comment section. Leave a comment. I know Hako will read these uh, comments. Boy, I read them all. It's peaked out on, on, on the heat. The burn has certainly subsided in my throat. It's very pleasant. It has a, you know, it's neat. Um, ghost pepper has that lingering burn, and that's kind of what makes it hang with you, I think. Um, the the scorpion's a more aggressive burn. So it's a little bit more of a violent burn. And then you have jalapenos, which is more flavor than burn. 
but just a delicious sauce. So um, give it a shot. Um, I think you'll like it. Um, right there, it's our pepper. Click that pepper when you do your part of our family. My journey is your journey and your journey is mine. Um, if you don't want to miss a video, you don't need to. Click that bell for notification and we'll let you know when we upload new ones. And we do about two a day. Love you guys a lot. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Johnny Scoble. This was Chase the Heat.